CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Magandang gabi Pilipinas at sa lahat ng nanonood sa buong mundo. This is CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration. The Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. We promise you an episode na punong-puno ng balita as usual. Kaya tutok lang po kayo on what we hope is your weekly 4.30pm habit every Wednesday online sa CSI. To start off, let's take a look at this week's winners and downers. Winner ang balitang nananatiling kapamilya ang MNL48, ang pinakaunang female idol group sa bansa, matapos nilang pumirma muli ng co-management contract sa ABS-CBN noong October 4. Pinangunahan ng MNL48 Senbatsu members na sina Cicela, Abby, Sheki, Jamie, Rance, and Gab, as well as MNL48 undergirls na sina Colleen, Bray, and Belle, contract signing na naganap sa network. Maraming loyal fans ang na-excite sa balita, kaya naman nag-trend ang hashtag na MNL48 in ABS-CBN sa top spot on Philippine Twitter. From here on, sunod-sunod na ang proyekto ng mga dalaga, beginning with the release of their fifth single under Star Music, followed by their very first team concert this October, and a behind-the-scenes documentary tungkol sa first generation of the girl group titled I See Why Am I, I See Me, the MNL48 documentary. Bibida rin ang mga miyembrong sina Abby, K. Colleen at Bray sa international movie adaptation ng hit manga series na Seiki Matsu Blue na unang mapapanood sa Japan come January 2020. Ang MNL48 ang international sister group ng highest selling J-pop phenomenon na AKB48. Nag-guest sila dito sa episode 7 ng CSI na ngayon ay paboritong online show ng maraming netizens and the fans of MNL48. We promise you all na tututukan namin ang rise in showbiz ng inyong mga idolo. Downer muli ang malulungkot na balita sa showbiz ng halos sabay na pagkamatay ni Tony Mabesa at Amalia Fuentes the other weekend. Chronic illness ang dahilan ng pagkamatay ng respetadong si Tony Mabesa noong October 4 whose last critically acclaimed movie ay walang iba kung di ang Rainbow Sunset kasama ang namapayapa na ring movie legend na si Eddie Garcia. Mr. Mabesa was 84 at the time of his death and besides his prolific movie career, is first and foremost credited as the founder of theater groups Dolaang UP and UP Playwrights Theater. Si Amalia Fuentes naman ay pumanaw sa edad na 79 on the morning of October 5 sa bahay niya sa New Manila. Ang pamangkin niyang si Aga Mulak ang nag-confirm sa Instagram sa pagpanaw ng veteran actress who was dubbed the Elizabeth Taylor of the Philippines dahil sa kanya ang angking kagandahan. Kasabay din niya si Ms. Susan Roses na binansagang queen of Philippine movies noong 1950s hanggang mid-1960s. Our deepest sympathies sa mga naiwan ni Tony Mabesa at Amalia Fuentes. Good news naman tayo dahil winner na winner ang pagkapanalo ni Maha Salvador as Best Actress sa First Asia Contents Award which was held in Korea last October 6 para sa kanyang dual role na Lily Cruz at Ivy Aguas in the ABS-CBN teleserye Wildflower, which was also nominated for Best Drama. She was escorted by her non-showbiz boyfriend Rambo Nunez Ortega, along with series director Raymond Ocampo and ABS-CBN production manager Maru Benitez. Sa kanyang Instagram account, sinabi ni Maha na she considers the win as a birthday gift as she turned 31 on October 5. Happy birthday, Maha! The first Asia Contents Awards recognized the finest TV drama that were produced in the last five years. The first of its kind, it is organized by the renowned Busan International Film Festival and the Asian Film Market, which is yearly held in South Korea. Maha and the show were the only nominees from the Philippines. Wildflower competed with other outstanding Asian TV series from South Korea, China, Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, 
Thailand, Brunei, Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar, and Cambodia. Front page story, si Maha Salvador sa The Manila Times last October 7 sa panulat ni Nicaroque. Congratulations, Maha, and the entire team of Wildflower. That's it for the opener of this episode. Wag po kayong aalis. CSI will be right back. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we're here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational. And we're back. You're still watching CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration. The Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. Let's get started with our certified CSI reports. And this week, we start with you, Tina Pai. Yes, How are you? Good. Very You're good. You're looking very sweet and behaved today. Today lang. Today, the most of the time <laughs> naman. Has it been a busy week in the entertainment scene? Yes, po. Daming kaganapan, as you can see later sa mga reports. Okay. And among all of the kaganapan sa showbiz mm -hmm. beat, what is your certified CSI report for this episode? This week, Ms. TMB does report natin ay certified loyal. Certified loyal. Dream job. That's how viewers perceive Drew Arellano's work as host for the weekly travel show Biahe ni Drew. What they may not know are the trade-offs of the job. Days spent away from his wife, Ia, and adorable children, Primo and Leon, being on top of the list. But 14 years on, Drew is just as excited and passionate in his career. During his recent contract renewal with GMA Network, the host talked about his love for hosting and traveling, his dream for Biahe ni Drew, and what his sons, Primo and Leon, have to say whenever he leaves for work. All of these in Christina's Certified CSI Report. You know, I was, I was pretty content and happy. If, you know, uh, it's, it's my goal. The money is not really to reach, you know, the A list level. It's just really just to just to be happy with my job um, and have a lot of time with my kids. Yun yung na nariligamit ako kung ano feedback at uh, I guess I'm just a uh, you know lucky guy to, to have a show that is and it's, it's still running for the past 14 years. So portal issue here is we continue our our you know jobs here and which doesn't feel like a job but yeah it's, it's pretty much like continuing to uh, strive for the best while we try to produce really good travel videos for the country I think uh, we've been pushing for this starting a couple of years ago because we felt that um, there's a need to create awareness for it. We, we see a lot of pollution. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes it's also our fault because when we feature different destinations, parang, oh my god, we feel responsible that people are gonna, you know, flock there and whatnot. So, you know, we, we try as much as possible to talk to the local government and then ask them, are you guys ready for if every month for the influx of tourists or whatever? So we try as much as possible, okay, are we going to feature this or not? At the same time, we're trying to uh, push for, you know, sustainability. Sustainable, sustainable tourism. Uh, and uh, the new generation now, and I think it's also because of social media, they are aware. You know, it's, it's a great thing that, you know, what happened in Baraka, it's such a sad thing, remember? It got closed down. But what's happening in Chirgao now is such a great thing because they know what happened to Baraka. So, so parang, yeah, and then, then the kids are running 
sure go now, you know. And I talk to the very young hotel owners. Parang they know na parang we gotta work together. We gotta keep. We gotta sustain this. Get, make this beautiful as long as possible. So, as uh, as you know, part of our advocacy efforts, parang we also try. We, we try to stretch that as much as possible and try to create awareness. Sustainability, sustainability, sustainability. Because if we don't feature this, if we are Filipino, we will not be able to it's not easy. It's never easy. Um, but uh, we try as much as possible to work things out. You know, it's always a challenge. No money. Lalo na parang di ba homeschooling kanya. But uh, I guess that's part of parenting. The money. No parent can be perfect, so um, it's an ongoing challenge. But it's fun. It's the best part. Of it. It's it's always. It's funny when I leave Wednesday morning. I check my videos, old videos, of my na kahagad yan. I check na kahagad. And then Thursday, wala na. You know, I wanna I wanna go back to them. I wanna fly back to them already. So it's it's always hard to uh, to leave the house with the kids. Hey, Papa, where are you going? Can I go with you? Can I ride the motorcycle also go with you? But yeah, work is work. Congratulations, Drew, for uh, your contract renewal at uh, GMA Network. Mm -hmm. Tina, what I have to say, you know, because of course I also go around and cover ang ating mga kapuso. And um, not everybody is given the kind of uh, treatment, if you may call it that, kapag nag-contract renewal sila, hindi lahat ng artists binibigyan ng solo mm -hmm. press. Okay. Anong feeling ni Drew? Because yan ang mga binibigay sa mga prime time kings nila, like Ding Dong Dantes, uh -huh. di ba? Uh, pero anong sabi niya? Nung na-feel niya yan? Mm -hmm. Sabi niya parang gulat na gulat. Well, surprised siya and um, honored kasi yun nga po, hindi lahat nabibigyan. Sabi nga niya, parang hindi naman dapat kailangan to pero thankful siya kasi na-reward ng GMA, yung kanyang lawyer mm -hmm. in that way. So they recognize talaga yes, uh, that, I mean, 14 years ba siya altogether in show business? Or is that 14 years in GMA Network? Kasi po, he started na rin in GMA ah. with his first show, yung youth-oriented show na Click, where he met his wife, uh, Ia. Ia. Oh, oh. So doon po nagtuloy-tuloy. Pero so far, yun lang yung acting Niya, besides a movie, that was to literally na hosting, hosting na. And really, kasi his preference is hosting. Is hosting. Oh. Joe, of course, and Ia are one of the um, most popular social media personalities mm -hmm. that we have. Anything that they post, uh, talagang ang views niyan and ang likes niyan yes. ay ang dami dami. Sobra and po. I think it's really because they've really maintained. Um, Parang yung dalawang yan, parang happy lang talaga when they were both single. Uh -huh. Diba very, um, very genuine, yes. diba? Parang, si you know, nothing is a put on when it comes to these two. Uh -huh. And I think uh -huh. that's what really makes uh, them uh, click, mm -hmm. not just as artists, but also then as husband and wife. Yes. And yan din siguro nakita ng GMA kay Drew. Kasi talagang steady siya, ha? Parang mm -hmm. constant, constant channel. Channel 7 siya all mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. Ayan. Binibigay ko nga po siya nung, oh, oh. Ano, nung press conference na sabi, willing ba siyang mag-drama ulit or mag-tandem ulit. Sabi niya, oo oh, nga, gusto ko magkaroon kissing scene. Pero with my wife. Ah, oo <laughs> nga, ganun diba? Po. Pero seriously speaking, um, yung heart po talaga niya ay nasa hosting. At hosting. sinasabi naman po niya pa ulit. And it's good naman. Ako rin ang feeling ko, um, minsan kasi here in the Philippines, uh, ang ina-expect sa lahat ng artista when they start young is that they do everything. everything they sing, they dance, diba? they act, they mm -hmm. host. But I like it when uh, the artists themselves decide na may gusto silang um, specialty. Diba? Mga doktor kung may specialty silang artista din meron. Mm -hmm. And who and really chose to wear the MC, the host's hat, yes. and has really, really succeeded naman in doing that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're very, very happy for you, Drew, and um, this uh, grand press conference just goes to show that there's really more uh, to watch out sa iyo. Yes. So, uh, makipagbiyahe pa tayo yes. kay Drew ng paulit-ulit. No? Yes. So, Tina, thank you very much thank for you, that bro. CSI report. We'll be right back with more of CSI. Sa pinsyensya ba? Sisiwian! Ilalani natin ang mga batang genyo sa dalawang oras nilang tagisan ng dunong at galing. 
Samahan natin silang buklasin ang mga sagot upang madagdagan pang lalo ang ating kaalaman. Frank Olympics, dito lang sa The Manila Times TV. Welcome back to the show and we have a special treat for all of you CSIers. On episode 3, we had joining us on the show our one and only fangirl who writes our weekly movie columns, si Karen Kunawitz, join us. And this week, makakasama na naman po natin siya because we did beg her to come and join us again on the show because she had such a great response from all our viewers. Today, she will talk about a little something something with a, someone who's a special guest. So uh, I'll just leave it at that para kayo na po ang ma-excite. Please take it away, our fangirl, Karen Kunowix. Netflix, iFlix, Hook, I Want TV, Amazon Prime, Facebook Watch. There's so many streaming services. And coming up in November are two more. There's Apple TV Plus coming out November 1 and November 12th, Disney Plus. And those are two very big players. And on top of that, there are already so many shows coming out. And these aren't even the return of shows like The Crown or Supernatural or Mr. Robot. These are new shows. And here to discuss some of these shows, we have Straight from the Diabolical from Trese. Ladies and gentlemen, Hank Sparrow. Yay! Hello. Hi, Karen. All right. Hi, Hank. Do you watch any TV shows on a TV? Do I still watch? No. Everything, no. Everything's on the laptop now. Yeah, and sometimes you, you know, I see people watching I, it on I the phone. I stream. I stream, yeah. yeah. Some people, I can't watch on a phone, but... Yeah, but if they want to do it, you know, yeah. they're in traffic, they watch on the phone. Okay, so let's go through some of the shows that are coming out. Only November, December, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's just a handful. There's so many coming out. So one, um, Batwoman with Ruby Rose as Kate Kane, Bruce Wayne's cousin. Yes. What do you think? Huh. Wow, what I think. Well, uh, yeah, this one is on my list, but only because you've got the pre prefix of the bat. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like she's cashing in on the franchise. But... Um, yeah, still very cringeworthy. The, the trailer, I'm not sure how, how it's gonna go. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, okay, but there's a it, line it, there in the trailer, it's like, Batman has abandoned us, and I think you felt very strongly about it. Yeah, because Batman doesn't abandon Gotham City. The, Batman doesn't back down. That's why he's the Batman, right? I mean, yeah, and... Uh, it, it, I think there there's parts where she pushes it a little. Yeah, I, she she does she does put Batman down a bit. Actually, I feel like and the I whole think trailer it upsets the fans. A yes, bit. Yeah. I, I think the trailer pushes it a little to the right. point where, uh, well, the trailer itself um, has uh, more negative likes. I feel okay. than than positive right. likes. Right. I mean, she does she does have like a very strong woman power angle. But then the writers seem to forget that she's operating under the shadow of this male character instead of casting her own. I mean, she says so in the you know, trailer. Her own. Yeah, right? So. She feels right. like she's Bruce Wayne. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, next up coming out on Netflix October 18 is Paul Rudd in Living With Yourself. And it's kind of like Paul Rudd versus Paul Rudd. He goes in for some self improvement and ends up with a doppelganger. Yes, well, what do you, um, think? you know what? I can't get enough Paul Rudd. I'm a Paul Rudd fan. Uh, Paul Rudd times two. I'm liking it. Um, I like the premise of the show. The premise being that um, he wants to make a better version of himself, so he shows up at a spa, and they do something to him in the spa, some kind of cloning or something. Basically, he ends up being split in two, right? The better version of himself and a not so better version of himself. Original, Paul yeah. Rudd original. So, and so that's the premise so, of the series. So you series. would go like, if it would be a watch, maybe your past, what is this? Oh yeah, definitely, watch. definitely watch. Okay, speaking First of watch. First episode at least. Um, two days later, Watchmen, October 20 on HBO, what do you think? Hmm, Watchmen, uh, well, you know, this is like a few years after the movie. Um, from, from the trailer, I would call it maybe 10, 20 years. Um, yeah, this one's probably on my back burner, but I am curious. It's got a great cast, though. Uh, you've got Don Johnson, Jeremy Irons, Regina King. Um, that guy from Sleepy Hollow. That Tom guy Eisen. from... Yeah, Tom Eisen from uh, Sleepy Hollow. The showrunner is Damon Lindelof, who we remember from Lost. Mm -hmm. okay. This one's coming out on HBO, yes? Yes, right. number 20. HBO, mm -hmm. HBO Go. 
Okay, next up on the Apple Plus pl platform, which is rolling out internationally, so we're going to get this. It's Dickinson and it's starring Haley Steinf Steinfield, and she's like really popular right now. She's voicing Spider Gwen, and then she'll be Kate Bishop in the new Hawkeye series. But yep. it's a period piece, 1850s. Yeah, but I feel this one is sort of like uh, geared, or or the, the target market is is the Gen Z, possibly millennials. But it's a period piece. It is em about Emily Dickinson, the writer. So nice take. I mean, uh, you know, ba my back burner as well. Back burner. Yep. All right. Next, also on Apple Plus, it's C with our friend Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa as a character named Baba Voss, and it's like a post-apocalyptic bird box because a virus hits planet Earth and no one can see, except later on he finds out his two kids can see. What do you think? Yeah, you're right about that. It's, it's like a bird post-apocalyptic bird box. Um, uh, the premise being uh, everybody's blind on Earth for a number of years, post-apocalyptic, and then suddenly, I, I believe it, it's his twins. He has twins that can see. Uh, a little iffy, uh, mm, back burner as well. There is so much good stuff so coming good. out. Okay. Plus, I am still catching up on some some other the series, regulars. like a season two, a season three of something right. else. So now, how about For All Mankind? Um, for All Mankind. The premise mankind. of this is the space race is um, extremely competitive. And, mm. you know, the one scene that hits me in the trailer is Joel Kinnaman finds out like, oh my God, the Russians beat us. The Russians beat the Americans to the moon. And how are we going to step up? So what do you Yeah, think? this is like an alternate future. Uh, sorry, an alternate uh, history mm -hmm. to, be, to be specific. Because it's based in the 60s, space race. Uh, but the Russians beat the Americans to the moon. In fact, they put the first man mm -hmm. on the moon. So it feels like... Uh, the U.S. has to step up and for them to have a first on the moon, they have to put the first woman on the moon and they, they sort of like divert all their, uh, well, all the, the astronaut program is off, uh, they, they switch it over to being predominantly male to predominantly female. Um, uh, yep, this one is a, is a watch. This one is a watch. And if that isn't enough for what, the... What streaming service is this coming out it's on? Apple Plus. Apple Plus, yeah. So they're they're that, pushing quite hard, they're, huh? They're, because they're, they're coming out. They're, they're, they're coming strong. out new, yeah. We've also got something with uh, Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, and Steve Carell. And if uh, the humans in space are not enough, Snoopy will also go into space on the Apple Plus platform. Snoopy in space? Yes. Right. Okay. Modern Love came out as a New York Times column in 2004, and it became very popular because it's all about human relationships. It became a podcast, and now it is a TV series on Amazon Prime with uh, Dev Patel, uh, Tina Fey, Anne Hathaway, mm -hmm. etc. What do you think? Um, well, I'm not familiar with th that it did come out in the New York Times, did you say? Yes, it's a very yep. uh, popular section. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of the trailer. Uh, this one is number one on my to-watch mm -hmm. list. As soon as it drops, I'm checking this out. Uh, not my usual, not, I yeah, did not think. enough, it's not a I did superhero not, or anything, it's not yeah. science fiction, it doesn't have a huge set. It's sort of not up my alley. It, yeah. It, it kind of feels like, uh, well. It's real Sort people. of like rom-com-ish, rom possibly, oh. chick flick-ish. Uh, not really. You would have to read the column. I, I would, I would. But um, I, I see, well, if, if, if the trailer is any kind of indication as to what the show is going to be like, which I feel is probably going to be episodal. Yeah, you can watch I'm, one. I'm, you don't have I'm to watch the in. whole thing. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm all in for this. In fact, like I said, among the trailers we, we checked out for, uh, for the show today, that's the one that I put on top. Okay, that's that's my number one. Definitely. Well, wait, we haven't finished yet. There's one more. But wait, there's more? There's more. November have 12th, more. I have to put out a representative from the Disney platform, which we won't be getting yet. Disney but I Plus? Had I have to put it out, November okay. 12th, The Mandalorian. It's about a certain bounty hunter and the events he's involved with in between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Mandalorian, yes. of course. It has Pedro Pascal. Our friend, Pedro Gino Pascal. Carano. Gina Carano. Giancarlo Esposito. Mm -hmm. um, Werner Herzog. Taika Waititi. John Favreau. I mean, all those, Bryce Dallas Howard is directing an episode. And Ming Na Wen is in it. 
So at this stage, I don't know. Like I'm already. Yeah, you're giving your money to the mouse, <laughs> right? Disney, hello, take our money. Yeah, please. shut up and take my money. Yeah. So what do you think? It, it I mean, is, it's it not Star Wars. here, but like, what do you? It, it is Star Wars. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely uh, not, I'm, I'm more than interested to see how they're going to go. I, I do believe uh, this is their first live action of the Star Wars franchise on TV. Yeah, for the service. Or, or for yeah. streaming. And um, Disney Plus will Not have, on the big screen, yeah. Yes, but they are going to have the exclusive rights to the streaming for the Marvel movies and the Star Wars movies. Of course. So finally, the two last questions. You think there will be a TV series that will unite everyone again like Game of Thrones we all talked about it you know the Something day after and everybody can put, watch put spoilers but now there's so much good TV there are so many streaming services is there gonna be that one show what do you think hmm I you know what I hope so I hope so I, I hope we get another possibly Game of Thrones type or or Breaking Bad type where everybody's following it everybody's yeah, watching fun, it no, but right now I'm not I'm uh, not talking about the same things with the usual people. Oh, of all. course. Uh, and then maybe like, have you watched this? No, I haven't. Have you yes, watched we, this? Yeah, so we're all sharing our, our tips, yeah. but there's not that one. Which, in a way, one. I guess it's a good thing. A lot of good content going out yeah, there. It's okay, now that you mentioned the very good content, um, and there's I a lot of it. if the viewers will share their response to this question, but like, would people still want to leave the house on the weekend? Considering there's just so many good things to watch, <laughs> and traffic is bad anyway. No, I think I do believe you should go out and uh, socialize with real people. Uh, um, that's you have to. But if you can't, or if you're stuck in traffic, yes, by all means, do catch up on your on your series. Yep. Right. But yes, definitely, uh, real people's usually more fun than uh, what I see on streaming. Okay, thank you very much, Hank Sparrow All right. from the Diabolical. Thank you. Thank and you, Karen. Uh, that's Fangirl. Thank you, Tessa. Thank you, staff. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, everybody. Salamat. Mga isyung pinag-uusapan. Mga palitang laman ng pahayagan. Impormasyon dapat yung malaman. Tatalakayin. Pupusisiin. At hihimayin ni Mario Garcia. Kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! And we're back on CSI and patuloy po tayo sa ating yep. CSI reports. This time with Isa Pai. Hi, Isa Pai! Hi, um, parang hindi ka kumain ng lumpia. Um, hindi. hindi. Nakita uh, kita doon. <laughs> Papasalamat tayo of course kay Vanna Santiago mm. for sending us um, some uh, treats for today. Belated birthday daw yan. Mm. And um, sabi ni Isa, masarap, masarap daw po ma ang lumpia. Na okay. Nakauna ako ng dalawa. Nakauna so, siya. <laughs> Congrats! Pero ngayon, work muna tayo, Isa. Yes, what is your certified CSI report for this episode? So, Misty, ang certified CSI report ko po for this week ay Certified Iconic. Nice! Certified Iconic. Filipino fans of Netflix original series Insatiable have something to be excited about as Miss Universe 1969 and veteran actress Gloria Diaz appears in the second season of the show which launched on October 11. During the press conference and fan event of this dark comedy series in Manila last week, the beauty queen showed up with its main stars Debbie Ryan and Dallas Roberts. Without giving away too many spoilers, Dia said she plays the role of a former beauty queen turned fierce pageant coach named Gloria Reyes, whose character also became a pivotal role in Ryan's character growth. Ayon kay Diaz, kinuha siya bilang parte ng Insatiable through a Viber message. Hindi raw siya makapaniwala noong umpisa, kaya hindi niya pinansin noong una ang requests ng team of the show. The beauty queen said that she thought it was a mistake, pero patuloy daw nag-message ang team ng show kaya naisipan na niya na totoo ang offer nila. Todo papuri ang natanggap ni Diaz sa dalawang stars na nagpunta sa bansa at sinabing she's formidable, regal, and inspiring. Sabi ng first Filipina Miss Universe na due to the news circulating on social media, people might assume that she will appear in most of the episode of the series. Let's find out more sa certified CSI report ni Isa right now. 
tell first about this great news? Of course, my daughter and my daughter Belle knows Insatiable and Abba. And then I told Samantha, all my nieces, I said, I wonder, because in the beginning, right, it's all like teeny bopper. So I asked the younger generation. Of course, the older generation sort of didn't really have an idea. Then I asked um, my designer, he knew it, and one designer knew it, and the other designer knew it. So I guess that's our market, right? <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I heard that your set was really fun. So can you make cuento about your experience? Um, well, I was quite overwhelmed because, of course, in the Philippines, we do it totally different. Our stylists come with 10 dresses when they start to dress you up. But when I got to your um, dress um, area, the warehouse, like, I was so shocked. I said, how many years has this been accumulating? So I figured it's just one season and everything. We just do it very differently here, right? And I was just overwhelmed with the, how the bigness of everything and so many people were so kind. When I got in, I, I was saying last night, when I got into the set, they were so nice, oh, welcome, welcome, this and that. But like I said, the more they welcomed me, the more stressed I became. The more I said, am I gonna be able to deliver? So I got more nervous. So I'll put you in the same situation in my set here in the Philippines. <laughs> too, I'm sure <laughs> yeah. I mean, spoiler alert, you deliver. <laughs> But you know what, Miss Gloria, this is the perfect role for you because I feel like all your Filipino fans and around the world, we're just waiting for your one-liners. Oh. And we get so nervous all the time, Debbie and Dallas, whenever Miss Gloria will be the one asking the question in Binibining Pilipinas, the biggest pageant here in the Philippines. If she's the one asking the question, like, oh God, save the girl. <laughs> really? I always like to make it simple. Really? And I'm trying even harder now. You know, because my daughter always says, Mom, don't give them a hard time. Ben, I'm just asking them, would you rather be beautiful or stupid? I mean, it's very simple, right? <laughs> would you rather marry not so handsome, but rich, or very, very handsome, but poor? I mean, that's a very simple question. And everybody always says, you know, not so handsome. Uh, uh, ugly but very smart, or very, something very, you know, expected. And that's simple, right? My daughters, when they were young, I said, okay, Belle, do you want to marry a very heavy, kind of fat guy, but very rich? Or do you want to marry a hunk, but poor? Without batting an eyelash, my daughter said, of course I want to marry the fat guy, but rich. Because it's easier to get thin than rich. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, even your daughter faces Q&A from the, as, a, as a fun day, you know, as a you know, dinner table. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss Gloria. And now, Debbie and Dallas, your characters from season one, they went through a lot of changes and twists. So how are they so different from uh, two, season two? I think that uh, if you watch season one, you're going to see Patty on this journey of really trying to find herself, not understanding the why, not under, kind of looking within herself and understanding why she continues to kind of make some misguided decisions. And I think in season two, you begin to see her become more self-aware, um, more self-assured, figure out a little bit more of the why. Whether or not she makes the right decisions from there is everyone's guess, but she definitely starts to look more internally and learn more about herself and her relationships around her, what she wants, and how she intends to get it. And uh, uh, certainly, I mean, one of the things I love about Bob is that he, he doesn't evolve too much. Like, he's kind of, like, he's driven and insatiable, if I can. Um, thanks. And, uh, and he, there, nothing seems to uh, slow him down. Um, the, the biggest sort of affecting factor is, is Patty and um, his continual sort of sacrifices to stay in that relationship are continue to be explored in season two, but I kind of, 
I often refer to, you know, Bob as a high-functioning sociopath in desperate situations, and that has not changed at all. Thank you, Isa, for that report na talaga namang iconic because yes, uh, yan ang first Filipina Miss Universe natin. Opo. At may trivia ka about Gloria Diaz being Miss Universe. Pang anniversary yata niya this year. Yes, ma'am. 50th anniversary niya kasi 1969 nung nanalo siya as Miss Universe. Eh. Mm -hmm. so, so, big year talaga. Yes. And it's so nice that mm -hmm. on her 50th anniversary as Miss Universe, mm -hmm. she's actually appearing in a globally streamed yes. show, no, mm -hmm. na well, Hollywood yan eh, yes, diba? Okay. Kaya uh, exciting na exciting talaga yan. And I think, um, what a way to mm -hmm. celebrate her 50th year. Um, yun pong report ni Iza, nanggaling yan uh, sa press junket, yes. na Asian press junket. Yes. That means that um, of all of the countries in Asia where Netflix is, mm -hmm. they chose the Philippines uh, to hold yung, mm -hmm. um, yung press conference ng yeah. mga artista nila. Yes. Diba? Okay. Bakit nila napili ang Pilipinas? Uh, Siyempre, uh, parang pinaka big deal kasi sa atin yung beauty pageant kasi yung insatiable about dones yes. mga beauty oh, oh. pageant yung mga beauty mga contesera ba oh, oh. so yun so feeling ko kaya din nila kinuha si Miss Gloria Diaz mm -hmm. kasi dito nga sa Philippines she's an icon she's an icon yes. and, and okay. yes you're right about that talagang mahilig tayo sa mga beauty mm -hmm. contests when syempre ngayon ang Miss Universe Pinay na naman yes. diba? and I day. think also uh, in reading the story that we also put out in the Manila Times um, Netflix also recognized na Filipino, ang Filipino audience talaga ay malaki for insatiable. Yes, ma'am. So, Opo. talagang, this is for us, mm -hmm. no? I think they, they've really, really recognized the Philippines as a very, mm -hmm. very important market yes, ng streaming service mm -hmm. nila, di ba? Mm -hmm. um, balik tayo naman natin, ano naman ang mga, ang mga reaction ng mga, uh, ng mga artista, artista. na kasama niya, ang mga, of course, mga American actors yes. po ito. Ano naman ang reaction nila when uh, our Miss Gloria Diaz stepped onto the set? So, tuwang-tuwa sila, ma'am, yes. nung uh, na-meet nila si Gloria Diaz during their shooting po sa States. So, Misty, sobrang tuwang-tuwa yung cast na pumunta dito si Dallas Roberts nga, tsaka si Debbie Ryan. Parang, Si Debbie Ryan, for, dati siyang sikat na Disney star ngayon mm -hmm. sa Netflix. Isa sa siya sa mga pinaka... So, kilala pinaka, siya ng mga bata. Yes, diba? opo. Oh. Tapos, nung na-meet nila si Gloria Diaz na dito sa Netflix na Insatiable is Gloria Reyes, mm -hmm. um, isa siyang um, former beauty queen turned pageant coach. Ang um, parang ugali dito ni Miss Gloria is parang medyo intimidating. Yes. So, dun habang nagsushooting daw sila, parang hindi nila kailangan mag-arte kasi medyo intimidating nga sila dun kay Miss Gloria, Gloria Diaz in person. Yes. Kahit hindi well, pa siya nag-acting. Well, as we all know naman talaga, mm -hmm. yung bearing talaga ni Gloria yes. Diaz. Very regal, mm -hmm. diba? I mean, Apo. she's not Miss Universe for mm -hmm. nothing, and she's maintained that yes. uh, image throughout the years, mm -hmm. 50 years since yes, winning the crown, diba? At saka, alam mo, hindi rin naman talaga nila nilayo yung character. Yes. Kay Miss Gloria Diaz, huh. first of all, pangalan pa lang, mm -hmm. diba? Gloria. And, you know, si I mean, Gloria Diaz naman, she doesn't mind it mm -hmm. pag sinabi ng tao na may adyo stricto siya, yes. and all of these things, and um, feeling ko character yes. niya yun eh. So, and actually, ma'am, nabanggit din nila na talagang pinag-aralan nila yung background ni Miss Gloria yeah, Diaz. So, alam okay. nila yung legacy oh, na iniwan ni Miss Gloria dito sa Philippines. So, napaka laking bagay daw oh, sa kanila na may experience nila mag-shoot with kasi her. Kasi nga, ang Gloria Diaz, hindi lang beauty brains mm -hmm. pa. Yes. Um, I was told, syempre hindi pa naman tayo buhay 50 years ago, <laughs> pero one of the yung legendary stories no, of Gloria Diaz being on the Miss Universe pageant competing for the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Parang, I think in one of the Q&As, I don't know if it was the main one or yung mm -hmm. chat pa lang nila nung host, parang sinabi, if, if you, if you know, all of a sudden found an alien yeah. uh, in front of you, what would you tell him? Tapos sabi niya, I'd give him a haircut. I mean, diba? Ang <laughs> no, galing, I mean, I think galing, galing astronaut niya. yun eh. I mean, yung, yung dumating sa kanyang door, no, sa bahay nila. Oh, oh, oh. Kasi astronaut daw. Dahil yun, same, yun. same, same, ano ata yun. Oo. Oh, oh. Time na nag-moon landing. Oh, kasi there's a moon landing. Mm, so sabi so, naman nila, kung nga raw may ganun. So she, diba parang, <laughs> Parang not many people can do that. And yes. I think that's one of the things Sobrang na bilis. talagang ano, nakapag-turn ng heads ng mm -hmm. judges 
back then mm-hmm. in 1969 I'm sure and mm-hmm. up to now she's a head turner and yes. we are so so mm-hmm. proud of her mm-hmm. have you checked out the series yet or you're still I'm about to yet po oh. lahat pero I check yung kanilang parang trailer kung saan nandun si Miss Gloria and talagang nakaka-proud na makita yes. isang Pilipina I know ako, I've seen the stills kasi sa Netflix mm-hmm. has emailed them and I mean, even fashionistas. If you're not, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Gloria Diaz, yung mga suot palang niya dito, um, you know, you'll you'll really really enjoy it. I'm yes. looking forward into having a free night para makapag. <laughs> Anong tawag dyan yung sunod sunod na binge pinapanood? Watch. Binge watch. Binge watch. binge watch tayo niyan. Insatiable. Yes. So Isa Pai, thank you very thank much you so for much your much. for your insatiable report. Thank, thank you, you very much. And um, next week again, yes, uh, maganda ka for your CSI. <laughs> Kakain na po kami ng lumpia, yes. and we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to CSI Exchange, and of course, kasama ko na po ang entire team. Well, minus one because the Nika Pai is on coverage right now, working hard. Of course, nandito po si Arlo, Isa, and Tina. Ang discussion natin ngayon, we will pick up on Isa's certified CSI report on the one and only. Gloria Diaz, de ba? Yes, Universe. yes, kasi, de ba? Um, you know, uh, when I was editing your story, sabi ko, tuto ong ay sinabi ni Miss Gloria Diaz. Na you know, she's one of the most confident na yes. personalities that we have, de ba? Dapat yeah. parang de ba mga ano pa yung mga one liner lang yun na sa sabihin, mm-hmm. may impact na lage. Mm-hmm. Pero she really did say, uh, being now being in the Netflix um, original series Insatiable. Na for some reason. Um, she said she suddenly felt worried. Ang worry niya is what people will say na hindi naman pala siya appearing throughout the entire season, no? uh, which actually um, premiered last mm-hmm. week. Um, she's worried na they might say, I guess lang pala or whatever. Ang question ko sa inyo, was Miss Universe, Gloria Diaz, veteran actress, respected personality, right to worry? So, tingin nyo ba may magre-react na Pinoy na, I guess, nang pala siya. Arlo, you start. Uh, dapat hindi siya mag-worry. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fact na kinuha siya, at sabi nga, kirento niya na, di ba, through Viber lang. Oh, Viber. Uh, yeah, Viber. Akala, yes. akala niya na hindi totoo yun, pero sunod-sunod daw yung pag-message <laughs> sa kanya. Mm-hmm. Totoo pala yun. The fact na pinili siya, that's good enough. Mm-hmm. Nothing mm-hmm. nothing to worry about. How about you, Isabel? Ako, tama si sir. Hindi na kailangan mag-worry ni Miss Gloria. Kasi parang yung naging na-experience din ni Chris Aquino eh. Uh-huh. Remember yung Crazy Rich Asians? Yes! Mm-hmm. Uh, parang sobrang laki ng promotion niya sa Instagram, sa mm-hmm. Facebook. Mm-hmm. Tapos nung napanood ng mga tao, sa Ay, parang yun, negative yung naging feedback nila kasi sobrang saglit lang daw. Pero, the fact na international yung oh. nag-invite sa kanila para maging part ng isang show. Di ba? Parang, hindi ba ba tayo magiging proud dapat. na lumabas ng isang Pilipino? Parang dapat ang mag-change kasi ang attitude yata Pilipino, which is mm-hmm. probably yes. gonna say, ikaw Tina Pai, okay, what's your take? sasabihin ko na, yung basis siguro niya is that mostly naman, sadly, eh, yung mga Filipinos, parang may crab mentality mm-hmm. na more. Sana na lang maging happy tayo for their achievements. Gaano naman kalaki or kalilit yung role. Tama. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, para sa akin, di ba ito na naman ako? <laughs> <laughs> para sa akin kasi, di ba, the mere fact na hindi naman kasi talaga madaling makapasok sa Hollywood. We mm. all know that. I mean, so many of our actors have tried. I mean, even Lea Salonga who became a star uh, on Broadway mm. and in the West End when she actually had a show in, in the States, hindi rin naman natin lahat nakita. Yes. Hindi naman automatically makikita dito. And then maybe she had a movie but it wasn't naman shown din talaga na, ng, you know, globally, di ba? So, for this uh, to happen, and sila talaga ang nag-approach kay Gloria Diaz to do this, this is a major thing, even mm-hmm. naman kay Chris Aquino at the time, mm-hmm. eh, major thing pa rin yun, kasi yun ang talagang global na makikita, mm-hmm. and and we should really just be happy for Filipinos who, you know, who have such major achievements, we should take pride in them, and I think, di ba, uh, it just shows though na, um, di ba, parang kahit pa paano, you know, you kind of feel din na nakakatuwa naman si Miss Gloria Diaz, yung stature niya na yung bigla siyang napaworry, yeah. kaya lang, ang other side nun, it talaga ang social media is really a different animal sometimes and that it causes even the most parang you know confident or most accomplished of people mm-hmm. to worry kaya ang lesson nga kama si Tina i think really it's the netizens kasi yes. meron tayong habit minsan na 
para lang, ano yung tawag niya doon? Si Mema. Namit niya na mga siya. Si Mema. Si Mema po, uh, shortcut, natutunan ko po to si staff, na para lang may masabi. Siya ho si Mema. So, iwasan po natin yung Mema na may masabi lang tayo. And if a person deserves to be cheered on, yes. let's cheer them on, di ba? And the fact is, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of glory. Yes! yes. yes. Isa said that in her report, hindi ba yan din is something for us to be proud mm-hmm. of, di ba? Um, di ba meron na, meron hong uh, front page na collector's item uh, na Manila Times yes. Edition. At yun ang pinamimigay natin souvenir. Yun ang pinamimigay yeah. namin na souvenir. It actually has Miss Gloria Diaz on the front page and the moon landing. Mm-hmm. So sabay na sabay po yun. Imagine yeah. nyo nung pinag-uusapan ang moon landing, eh pinag-uusapan din po ang Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. Kaya kahit na anong sabihin nyo, winner na no winner si Gloria <laughs> winner no winner. Diaz. Kahit na pa 10 minutes or gano'ng kahaba mm-hmm. ang kanyang role. Even her own co-actors, mm-hmm. yung mga American co-actors niya, sina? Sina Debbie Ryan, siya kasi Dallas Roberts. Sobrang laki nung uh, para pasasalamat nila na nag-wish siya dun sa yeah. show nila. Oh, if they're thankful mm-hmm. for Miss Gloria mm-hmm. Diaz to be there, dapat tayo rin, a eh, cheering squad mm-hmm. tayo ni Miss Gloria Diaz. So, from us here at CSI, we would like to send our congratulations, of course, to uh, our Miss Universe, Miss Gloria Diaz, for landing her role, <laughs> being invited. No, she didn't audition, she was invited to be part of an original Netflix series. So if you haven't checked it, check out Insatiable on Netflix. Tapos na naman po ang isa pang episode ng CSI, pero bago ko tumuloy. Sabi ni Kuya, <laughs> Sorry ho, kasi recently ko lang na-meet si Mema. May kamag-anak pala siya. At siya Mamaru. ay si... Mamaru. Mamarunong. Ayan ho. So, yan ho ang mga uh, ugali po natin na medyo i-tweak natin ng konti bawas-bawasan para happy lang po ang world even on social media. So, sana nag-enjoy po kayo tulad ng pag enjoy nyo sa mga nakaraan naming episodes ng Celebrity Style Inspiration, the entertainment and lifestyle pages of the Manila Times come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. As always, everything came together through the efforts of my hard working team, si Arlo, Tina, Isa, Nika, of course, she helped us all the way, and also uh, the Manila Times TV technical team, si La Jesse, Nathan, Jello, J.M. Mokin, at Eric, and Kuya, Kuya Mamaru, thank you. And join us every week for new episodes of the hottest online TV show on the Facebook pages of CSI and the Manila Times TV and on the Manila Times TV official website. You can still watch our past episodes. Saan, mga girls and Arlo? On? The Manila Times TV and CSI Facebook pages. www.manilatimestv.com And of course, Arlo? And sa manilatimes.net din. Yes. yes. Opo. Pati sa YouTube ng The Manila Times, um, ilalabas na. Sabi yes. ni Miss Lynette, she Shot. will post it there. Para meron ho kasi mga nag-request na viewers. I was reading through uh, some comments, mm-hmm. no? And they're saying, could you please have the show in YouTube? I know mm-hmm. there's a YouTube ng digital, but just to be sure, uh, sabi nga ho ng President Emeritus namin, lagay nyo sa lahat ng mga platforms mm-hmm. natin para po mas madali po sa inyo na makapanood ng CSI. So thank you for keeping keeping us company and be sure to click us again next week and every week thereafter for celebrity style and inspiration. See you CSIers at magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Bye! Bye. I, celebrity style inspiration.